Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to learn to do what is called the bow ties stitch pattern. Um, I used my favorite color, of course, and I used a basic 5mm crochet hook to make this stitch. And it is absolutely a fun, fun pattern. Um, and uh, you would look at this pattern to say, oh my goodness, this is going to be so technical. It is not. Um, I whipped this example piece up in no time. Um, so if you take a closer look at it, you can see that there are bow ties. Um, and think of how this would make in a scarf, how this would look in a scarf. You can also do your rows um, in different colors to make your bow ties to uh, come out in different colors because it is very versatile um, as far as working with you uh, here on both ends because you have three um, single crochet on both ends so it is very easy to change up your color if you would like. Um, I personally have found that this is a very very easy um, stitch pattern to do and it has become one of my favorites so I look forward to doing something with this in the future. So again this is called your bow tie stitch so let's get started with that and I'm going to put my sample piece back. So now what I did is I am going to actually work with cotton on this example piece and I'm going to use a bigger size hook because I want my bows to come out bigger this time and I'm working with a brand new hook today. It is um, a very, let's see if you can see it, shiny, shiny, hot pink color. Another specialty cupcake there. So what I need you to do for this particular stitch, you do need to chain <clears throat> in multiples of 13, and then you just add a simple one to that. So I already did that off camera. I added uh, my one to that, and then I just simply made a single crochet row after that. So go ahead and do your... Uh, 27 uh, chains which includes that one at the end and then go ahead and single crochet um, for that second row and go ahead and stop your video if you need to catch up there with me um, so we all know how to single crochet and I don't really need to um, do those rows with you all the time on camera so let's go ahead now and move to row one so row one is we're going to turn and you are going to uh, chain one. You're going to skip this uh, first stitch right here and you're going to do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches, okay? So we're establishing our base. So one and two. Alright, so then we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven okay now you're gonna skip seven one two three four five six and seven and this is going to become your pattern all through this project here okay so keep that in mind now you're going to do a single crochet in each of the next six so one two three, four, five, and six. Okay, once again, chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now you're going to skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what you're going to do is a single crochet in those last three available stitches. Okay? And make sure you get into the, both of those loops on that last one. Making sure I do because sometimes your cotton splits on you. Alright? So what you just did here is you made the beginning of your bows. If you look at the stitch here you're going to have these little uh, chain seven rows that we are going to eventually make into um, our bow as a whole. All right, so now that was row one. Let's turn, and you're going to be amazed of how simple this is. So for row two, you're going to chain one. 
you're always going to skip the first one, go into the second one for a single crochet, and in the next one for a single crochet. And those are those three beginning single crochet that I said that will, you know, is very versatile. You can change your color at any time. Now you are going to do your chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. At this point, you're just going to, of course, jump that next seven. You're going to go all the way over to that next available single crochet, which is where you started your um, six single crochet from the previous row. And you're just going to single crochet in the top of those same six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And all you're doing is making the foundation for your bows. So chain seven, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you're going to jump this last section and you're going to work into those last three single crochet with a single crochet in the top of them. So that's two, and then that's going to be three. All right, so now what you have, you have two strands. So one, two, one, two. So row three is just a repeat of row two. So you're gonna chain one, skip that first single crochet, and do a single in the next single, and a single in that next single. All right, so once again, we are going to do this last strand because if you see each bow here, you are, it's actually made up of three strands. This top one is not actually in the strand where you've actually made the bow. Okay, each bow is made up of three strands of seven. Seven single crochet, I should say. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven okay so jump across now and do your six single crochet one two three four five and six let's do our last seven one two three four five, six, and seven. Skip this last strand here and do our last three single crochet. One, two, and three. Okay? All right, so if I lay this out, this is what we have. All right? So now, Row four, you will take and turn, you will chain one, you will skip that first single crochet as we have been doing and do a single crochet in each of the next two. Now what you're going to do is do a chain three. You're going to take these strands and you're just going to kind of push them together and you're going to go take your hook under all three of them and you're just going to simply do a single crochet. Okay? Just like that. You don't want them in a knot, but you, you can kind of wiggle them together as you sort that out. Okay? And you see how that made your bow. Now you're going to chain three. And then you're just going to continue with working in those uh, six single crochet. So one, two, three. Whoops, I think I skipped one. Yeah, let me go back. I skipped one. Let's try that one again. One, two, three.
let's see, four, five, and six. There we go. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing here that you did here. Chain three. You're going to take these three, just kind of hold them together, go under, and just do a simple crochet, single crochet. Okay? You want to tighten that single crochet just a little bit. And you can come back and sort that out because you'll have to scooch that bar over a little bit. So chain three. And then you're going to go into those last three single crochet for a single crochet. One, two, and three. Oops, let's get that all in there. And there you have it. And like I say, you'll have to straighten those up a bit because like with anything you do, they get stretched out of proportion as you're working, that is. So you see that three strands of se uh, seven single crochet make a bow. Okay, and then all you do from there is you're, you're just going to repeat that entire process every row. Um, and that's all there is to it. So you're just going to go back and repeat rounds two through five. And th that's all there pretty much is to it. Um, you just keep making your single crochet here at the beginning. And then your chain seven, your six single crochet, your chain seven, and then your three at the end. And then you're just going to repeat that and make your bows. It's a very, very, very simple um, stitch pattern. Like I said, you would look at it and think, oh my goodness, how is that done? And it's just really a big surprise. It's very, very simple and not very time consuming at all. Um, and I thought this would be really, really cool to do in cotton. Um, making dishcloths for Christmas gifts. So that may be an idea. You guys keep that in mind and it may be a project that I do um, over the holidays. And of course because you have to um, squeeze these up a little bit it may be a good idea to put you a border around to even out your your ends here also. But um, you know once you stretch it out a bit you can see it. See your bows a little bit better. So, um, again, just keep working that same pattern to get more bows. And that's pretty much all there is to that pattern, guys. You just work the same process over and over, and you get more and more bows. So, again, this is your bow ties stitch pattern. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you on the next video. Happy hooking!